Morning. I was looking at um, a recommendation on Facebook, uh, 10, minute, 10 Minutes of Acrylic Paintings, I can't remember his name. I've subscribed to his channel because I'm going to watch, you can always learn from others. Uh, I subscribe to channels too. Um, and the 10 Minute Painter, well that's very interesting, but he paints in, a, in probably a more traditional way than me. I go straight in with impasto with the acrylic. He he was wetting with a small brush, well a half inch brush or something like that, and wetting and build, building up as he went along. That that way, at least you can uh, you can paint quickly, and it will still dry very quick. So I'm going to put that to one side. I'm not going to copy it exactly. I'm only going to do a bit of that as an aid memoir. That that photo was taken on. Uh, uh, Monday at Dungeness near the power station on the South Sussex coast in this wonderful beautiful Romney Marsh or part of it it's a very large area reclaimed at some stage so what I'm painting on well I'll show you my palette there's, but there's my Masterson stay wet palette I'll have to probably add some, add some pigment to it uh, some yellow Def definitely want some yellow so these are Wilkinson's colours so I'll squeeze a bit of that out very inexpensive, so we don't mind using a bit of it. We'll we'll have a bit of a uh, bit of sap green, I think. These are Wilco's colours. So if you you're in the UK and you've got access to a Wilkinson's, go there and buy up their acrylics, or at least the colours you want. Uh, but now we want some black. We love black. Love black. So there's some black. Oops. This one's nearly finished, but I've got another. Well, I've got I've got 24 tube tubes of this colour in my drawer here I've stocked up because it won't always always be available and then a bit, a bit of cadmium red we like a bit of cadmium red right now what I'm painting on is a piece of mount card or matte card so when you if you make your own frames or you do your own cut your own mounts save the the inner bit because you can put a bit of primer a bit of PVA glue over them over it, seal the surface of it and paint on it. I, uh, uh, don't forget, don't throw your fail, failed watercolours away either because when you get around to acrylic or oil painting they make very good supports for that medium or those media. <coughs> so I should make myself my knees covered because I got some ultramarine on my jeans yesterday. Luckily it hadn't dried so I was... Um, so. I'm just going to loosely put my apron around my waist. I prefer an apron, but uh, this one I got from Argos in the UK. But it's a bit, it was only a fiver, but it was, uh, it's not really big enough. It's not, it doesn't come down far enough over my knees. So I'm looking out for a, a decent woodworking apron from, so anybody know whether Wix, B and Q, etc. Do good workman size woodworking aprons, let me know. Right, okay, so I'm going to use my little half inch brush. Let's uh, come up to there. That's what I wanted to show you. This, uh, I think my camera might have down. So that's the bit of mount card. It's seven inches by 11 overall because of the mount that I've got. So I can put that over there. It's the right shape. So, wet the brush, we'll put a bit of sky in, so a bit of, bit of ultramarine, a bit of red. It was a quite a blue, blue sky day, so plenty of water on that, but see what happens. Now, I tell you to, to prime your, your board or your paper first with a colour. Because painting straight on white, you lose your... Now that's not really covering. It's probably because they're cheap acrylics, they're not so... Well, let's put some more in. But it doesn't matter, it'll dry in due course and we can... Uh, as we come down, let's just put a bit of red in as well. So we could try and do this in some, something like 10, 10 minutes. It might fail, but... Hey, I've not worked this far. Well, yeah, I do, but... So, a bit of uh, sienna. Raw sienna, that is. And let's just 
put that in. And as this dries, this will give a nice surface. And then we'll put in some mason cloth. Don't let the acrylic dry on your paint, on your brushes. Well, we'll put in a tree, so a bit of lemon yellow, a bit of black. And we'll put in So this is sort of sketching, isn't it, really, with the colour, this bit of, bit of sienna, raw, uh, raw sienna, that burnt sienna. That's just... Okay, so. Right, that'll do for a moment. Let's, let's put in a roof. Now the roof is sort of a grey, grey-blue, slate roof on this house, so I can see. So we'll uh, just no, must keep it wet. Mm -hmm. And then we've got a chimney stack here. We can we can alter that. And put another one there. Right, now we'll put in a, a white wall. That's quite heavy, quite thick. Right, now we can put some windows in that. I'm not going to do all the houses, this is just, just a little bit of a, a bit of an experiment really. a bit of shadowy colour in there. I'm finding it very hard to control my right hand because of um, a bit of arthritis or something. Might even be from all those uh, ties with the computer. Right, we'll, we'll put a bit of, bit of tree around the other side of that. shadow in here. Well, I'm not really timing myself on this but a bit of shadow. The sun's coming from the right hand side of the light. So we can bear that in mind. And then we go across here. Okay, let's go back on, that sky's nearly dry, so we'll go back over on that in a minute. Uh, let's do some of this landscape, that's very, very, I haven't got any burnt umber out, but I'll use a bit of, a bit of burnt sienna with a bit of black, and some burnt sienna and quite a lot of white. So this is the uh, this marshy, sort of grassy, pebbly, very pebble. The whole area is uh, is pebbly. And we'll put a bit of nice greeny colour in as well, and a bit of bit of black in with the green. Because we've got lots of clumps of stuff here, but we want some warmer colour in there, so let's put a bit of red in it. Not sure I like using this brush. I'm used to the uh, varnish brushes. There's some dark, lighter stuff in there. Oh, 
we'll just get the light in there. And I'm just going to keep texturing in this area here because there are all these light grasses, pebbles, shingle, well shingle, that's what it is. Let's just go over that, soften everything. Just some warm light and warm colours going in here. Right, let's get some nice lights now. Still a little bit wet there. Get some. There's like some pebbles and stuff over here on these sort of this. Uh, there, so I'll put them. In. I don't know what they are, but they're there. So I'm going to just put them in. They might be stones marking a, a pathway through the shingle. All right, let's get some look really light in now. That dry a bit. Go back to the sky now. Uh, all right, I'll make a. Oh, I'll go to mute the light. I'm afraid. Oh. Uh, sun's just come out. The cold start today, but it's going to be quite mild later on. Picture back, All right? I reckon we're, we're getting a bit behind here. So we'll just put in some words catching the light on these trees. Let's do the sky, won't we? I'm just doing a cloud colour. Let's get to see this as quick as we can. Get the blue. Just ultramarine, that's all I use. I've got uh, cerulean. I haven't got a lot of cobalt, but I have got a tube, of, an old tube of cobalt, which I can use. I won't. I Actually, I forgot it was in there. Put it out last week. No, I'm just still building up this slightly wet wash. Got a bit of black on the brush there. Right, let's put a little bit of a scenery background. I'm mixing a bit of orange in that, but it's too, too powerful. So I'm, this is my sky, that is. I really want ochre. Don't 
Then when I labour the sky, a bit of shadow, so a bit of red, a bit of blue, and a bit of, bit, bit of blue, a bit of red, a bit of white. So we can just get a bit of clear, uh, shadow under that. Anything rather than a plain blue sky. Right, I need to get that shadow colour under the clouds just a little bit darker. Okay, that'll do. I'll do this, go back to the greens. Ah, so. Put the lights back in a moment. Right, a bit of darken around the base of this grass here. Sort of a front door in there. Something there. Another window here. And a little bit of something there. And the roller. I can see some roofs. Oh, oh not some roofs, some, uh, some buildings. I can't see the roofs, so I'll just put them in. Just guess. Right, okay, and there's some bit of a stark white bit there, and a bit of a roof, grey roof, roof. Right, that do. Let's put in some light uh, on those windows. Oh, the windows. Oh, well, this is going to be the end of it. The end of the painting, that is. Or this painting. You know, we've got something to work over. We can sort out the lights, darks. Uh, okay. Nearly there. Just do a little bit on, of um, bit of light grasses, if it comes up light, no not really. Right well that, that's just a, a sort of a, a sketch of well, a sort of sunny day. 
what's that look like? Well, it doesn't look too bad as a as a, as a quick study. I don't know how long that took. I'll have to look on the video, but uh, let's just bring it around and we'll put the mount on it and we'll have a look. Well, they all look better with a bit of a mount on them. Just just it there. And let's cut it there. And there. Well there we are, that's a, a rough impression of Dungeness near the power station. Um, very roughly painted, very quickly painted, but it's it's a sketch. It's a, it's practicing with sketches to be fast and using up mount cards that you've got from apertures, save it and paint on it. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed that, bye bye.